As you may click on this video to figure out what's the best play shot, my play shot build on the game. First thing I want you to do, if you haven't got the last video to 300 likes, make sure you get that video to 300 likes for I can drop the video of the best badges for slashing and the best animations you can use to get contact dunks. A lot of people been waiting for that video. And the faster you like up the video, the faster I got you. But what's good, y'all? It's your man Shimon with another video. If before we even get into anything, drop a like on this video. If you haven't seen my recent video, make sure you go check out that video. I had so much fun recording that video. The Trey Young belt. Oh my god, y'all just don't understand. I have so much fun playing this build. If you want to actually recreate that Trey Young build, like I told you, just make him 6-2. You can make him a play shot or you can make him an actual sharpshooter. But as y'all know, a lot of people ask me, bro, how do you make that build? How did you get that bash count? First of all, the bash count came with defensive ways and also offensive ways. A lot of people make this build, they also get the name offensive threat. Most of y'all might have watched this video, might have an offensive threat build. That's maybe because you have 22 shooting badges, maybe 21 playmaking badges, and maybe a few defensive badges like five or six, maybe five at the most, six at the most. But how I built this, I made sure I got enough badges to be able to play defense if I have to play on ball defense, or I was able to play in the corner. This did not affect me when I was playing rec, Pro-Am, 3v3, Park, or Stage. So anybody that's watching this video, this is a great all-around build. You're not really limited. You're not. I can say this is the best balanced build for literally the play shot pie chart. You're not losing anything by making this build. So as you see my stats, I have an 89 close shot. This is at 99. This is, at nine, this is not at 99.9 for anybody that's watching this video. This is at 99. So you're gonna have a 92, 91, three pointer in mid range, a 91 ball control, and your defense is looking good. As you see my badges, I'm 15, 30, 30, and 18. You will not get these. You will have minus 10. Since I'm a legend, I do get plus 10 bash points. So look. Minus 10 from this, my badge category is 5, 20, 20, and 8. 5, 20, 20, and 8. That's what you should come out to get this playmaking shot critter build. So look, we were going to get into it. Start it off. Whatever hand you want, we're going to make sure you make this build a point guard, right hand, left hand. I always make my builds right hand. A lot of people in the community, I know they like left hand players, but every player I have is right handed. I like to be different from everybody else, same way with the meter thing. They don't want to use a meter, I want to use a meter. It makes me different from everybody else. I don't want to follow the same trend and follow the other way. But look, you're going to look for the shooting and playmaking pie chart. It's the yellow green pie chart, yellow orange pie chart, whatever color that is. You know, sometimes people say yellow, some people say orange, but you want this pie chart right here. This is the pie chart that you want to pick. It has decent finishing, it has decent defense, and you'll be able to do your thing when it comes to shooting and passing the ball. So the physical pie charts, you do not want anything else but the top pie chart. You want the speed and agility. You want that pie chart. Any of these other pie charts that you see, you do not want those. So don't even touch those. You see you got a 90 speed, a 99 acceleration, or a 97 acceleration. You get some of that like that, but you got a 70 vertical. It's not even about that. You want the speed and you want the acceleration. The first thing I always work with when I try to make these type of builds, find the best builds for me, and be basically actually the best builds for you as well. Because how I built this, I always go to the main categories. If my main categories is shooting and playmaking, I'm going to build off of that. I'm going to build off of that, then work off the defense and the finishing glass. So once I make off this, I'm trying to get at least 20 badges. As you see, I'm going back and forth to see if I get 68 post fade, 67 post fade. But mostly you're going to end up having one of 60 or 69, one of those. But playmaking, you want to max out your pass accuracy, your ball control. I think you go two times on a post move just to get a 20. The most you can maybe get on playmaking, I think it is 22 or 23, one of those two. But when you're messing with this, now we're getting to the finishing category. The finishing category, you max out the, the close shot. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. I always wanted the five finishing badges. All you really need is five finishing badges on this build. You really don't need finishing badges, but for the attributes, I will go with the five finishing badges. Some of you that's watching this video, as y'all have playmaking shot critter builds, some of y'all might have nine defensive badges with no finishing, or you have less shooting. I don't know why would you have less shooting if this is Hall of Fame shooting and Hall of Fame playmaking. I would go with less finishing. If I was my choice, I would go with three finishing badges if I had to, just to get the extra defensive badges. But it's a build that's out there. That's a playmaking shot critter build that you get one finishing badge, 22 or 23 shooting badges, 22, I think, playmaking, and you get like 12 defensive badges. As you really think about it, you like, okay, the badge count sounds all right. When it comes to the finishing, that's where it gets iffy at. That's where that belt really slips up and you cannot finish at the hole. But when we get into the height for this play shot critter build, the lowest I will tell you to go is 6'2". 
6 2 all the way to 6 5. 6 5 is cutting it. If you really want to be very fast, make sure you make your player 6 3 or 6 4. But if you want to be stretchy and you just want to just go out, go out the way, I always tell my subscribers I like taller players. All my players are none of my players that I have is under 6 5. So on your option and your belief of what you want to pick. I prefer you to pick 6'2 to the 6'4 range. If you want to be tall, you can pick between that 6'5, but it's stretching it. If you see, the build I have is 6'5. I showed y'all, that's the build I use all the time on the threes or when I'm playing twos just trying to go for rep. But since I don't have to go for rep no more and I play a lot of threes, 6'5 is a great way. I like the 6'5. It doesn't really affect me as much. I like being a taller player, but 6'4, 6'3 are great heights for this build. You will have like a 90 something speed if I think you've picked 6'3 or 6'4. I think it's 6'3. Once you hit 6'3, the average height, you will definitely have a 90 speed off the rip. You want to make sure you make your player the lowest weight or 180. I made my player 180. It didn't really make a difference to come to 175. But your arms, you're going to make sure you make your arms the shortest you can. You want to have T-Rex arms. These T-Rex arms will help you get an extra plus four on your shooting, and you will have an extra like plus three on your ball control. So you should have like a, a 88 or 80 something ball control, a high ball control. So you will end up with a 92 or 91 ball control. So check this out. When you check your playmaking takeover, Alan, you see you got slashing takeover as an option. Do not put slashing takeover on a playmaking shot critter. Do not. Make sure, I'm gonna tell you this one. Do not pick slash and takeover on a playmaking shot creator because you don't have the high enough dunk to be able to get a contact dunk, but you will make crazy layups, like successful layups. But you don't got enough badges even for the slash and takeover just for it to be effective. So check this out. You're going to make sure you pick playmaking, shot creating, or sharpshooting. My two options for you to pick, pick the sharpshooter badge if you want to be able to hit you steady shooter if you want to and just have fun. But if you're mostly a dribbler, I prefer to pick the playmaking badge. But all around, it's between playmaking or shot creating or sharp for this build. Never pick the slashing badge, even though it's an option. I wasn't about to leave y'all guys hanging, so look, look, look. I'm going to give you my badge setup, also a badge setup that I will give you that will maybe help you out so as you ground in badges or when you get the badges for this build, this is the best way you can have it set up. For finishing badges, this is the only thing I was working with. I was working with Fancy Footwork on Silver, Slippery Finisher on Gold. These are the only two badges I had equipped on my build the whole time getting to the grind to legend. That's all I used, but I had another setup for this actual five badge build so look for these five badges you this is a easy setup if you're going to hop step to the hole this helps you but consistent finisher and fancy footwork so you have two options you got the fancy footwork and slithery or you got the consistent finisher or fancy it's based on how you play but hold on shooting badges shooting badges you must have quick draw on hall of fame you got to have range of standard hall what, like what's the point you having this build if you don't got range standard on hall of fame Green Machine, you don't need Green Machine on Hall of Fame, you don't need it on Gold, but keep it on Silver if you have to. If you really want to get some other badges, you can have this badge on Silver. It works the same as Hall of Fame and Gold. It actually ends up working better. It's literally the same thing. That's why I do not use this badge anything past Gold. Catch and Shoot, Dead Eye, but I'm going to put it on Gold because how this is my setup. So my setup, this is what it will look like. For you, I prefer you not use Green Machine on on gold or catch and shoot based on how you play you put catch and shoot on bronze and difficult shots on silver but these are the three main badges you need once you get the badges for your build for playmaking playmaking badges you must have dimer if you are guarding you have hall of fame hall of fame playmaking badges and you don't have dimer on what type of guard are you like or floor general i could take one of those floor general or dimer you can choose all you want but this is my usual setup ankle breaker hall of fame dimer hall of fame handles for days and quick first step automatically has to be hall of fame and unpluckable is your choice as y'all know unpluckable is a here and there it's an iffy badge it doesn't work all the time or it doesn't really it doesn't work period but this badge you want to have at least silver or gold that's the only ones that's actually decently work but i keep mine on silver since i have 10 extra badges or go but i prefer gold most of y'all might be using silver right now so you're going to have dimer hall of fame handles for days quick first step or flirt general based on how you play if you don't know how to get really like get ankle breakers in the park or you're not really like a type of dribbler person you don't have to put ankle breaker on you can always put on space creator or bailout but these is the badges that you want to end up using you always want to have that bailout if you don't have the ankle breaker on or if you know you're going to throw pass out shots make sure you put that bailout on bailout on silver is the best one to use 
you can put it on gold, but all the way up to Hall of Fame, it still works great. But for defensive badges, we got Clemps on gold, Intimidator on silver, and Pick Dodger on gold. This is my bad setup when I was checking ball, or if I had to check ball, if we didn't have any lockdowns. But if you're going to be sitting corner, you know you're going to have a lockdown on your team. Clemps on silver, Intimidator on silver, Interceptor on silver, and Off-Ball Pest on silver. If you don't know how to use Off-Ball Pest, I feel bad for you, and there's nothing I can really do for you. You just take off Off-Ball Pest and put Intimidator on, and just switch it out and put it on gold, and then you just have a nice little setup. And if you don't like the Off-Ball ball pass setup when you're off ball you can put Tyler's defender on silver in the corner it really is not going to make a big difference but it does work that badge definitely work if you haven't yet make sure you drop a like if you're new make sure you subscribe put on post notifications for you never miss out for videos like this or any of my legend builds that i'm showing you that i had before a legend but make sure you drop that like follow me on twitter and twitch it being your man shamama and i'm out y'all peace